Oh, we got to start with it, Matt. Why'd you bring it back? Um, I was planning on bringing it back for a while, but I had a deal with Great Clips, and they set the date for the 27th, so I was waiting until then. <laughs> Matt, what does what senior day mean for you here at, at Illinois? Uh, it's just my last home game. It's my last, like, uh, just opportunity to soak it in and just, like, enjoy the time I'm here. So, uh, just, I'm trying to enjoy it. That's, that's really the main thing. What does it feel compared to, you know, being at one school for several years and this just one year? Do you, does it feel different that way? Uh, it feels kind of similar, actually, because, like, I've really enjoyed my time here and uh, it's coming to an end, so it's just, like, I don't know, it's like one of those things that just makes you like reflect on like how the year's gone and um, yeah, it's just kind of making me uh, like a little like sentimental, I guess. I guess we're reflecting on this year. What does this year kind of been for you after coming here last year? Um, I don't know, I've just, I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's been a good opportunity for me to like uh, help out younger guys and um, just develop my game and understand who I am more as a player. Um, and just like an, another opportunity to like have a new team and just like uh, just like get to know everybody. It's, it's just been a lot of different things. Being in that more like a leadership role, what has it kind of been like that for you, especially the last couple months? Um, it's been good. I've just been able to like help these guys with their like everybody goes through mental struggles with basketball, and um, just having been through everything since I'm a fifth year, just helping them to like uh, navigate that. It's been good. This Illinois-Michigan rivalry sometimes has some juice to it. Is that a, in the picture at all for you as you get ready for this game? Uh, no, nah, man. I'm just I'm, I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can. That's really the main focus for me. How are you looking at the little greens and keys against them? <clears throat> um, they're a really talented team. We haven't uh, scouted them yet. We're doing that today. So, um, But I know they're extremely talented. They've got multiple NBA-level players on the team. And your incident run at Baylor, was there, was there a point that you guys just flipped the switch and just playing at your highest level or, or was it a matter of playing the way you had all year? Uh, well, the year before we won the championship, we didn't have March Madness. Um, and then the year we won it, we were pretty dominant all year. And then the year after, we only made it, or we only made it to the second round. But um, no, nah, it's just like, I don't think many teams have a, 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 a switch you can flip. Um, but I think if there was going to be a team that could do that, I really think it could be us because we've been shooting the ball terribly for a long time, and um, if we just have a few games where we make some shots, I think we're one of the most talented teams, so I don't see why we can't make a deep run. It seems like you get some freedom offensively here at Illinois. You feel like it's helped you uh, show your uh, mm -hmm. complete skill set? Here. Yeah, definitely. I've just, um, I've told Coach Underwood, like, what my mindset has been, and it's basically just, like, I believe in shooting threes, and I try to shoot as many as possible, and I'm 6'9", so um, the efficiency that I've done it with, uh, like, if you look at my numbers, it might not look that efficient. It's like 36% from three, 42 from the field. Um, but, like, true shooting is my favorite number. And uh, that, that's been pretty good. And I always maintain a low turnover rate. So I think he believes in what I'm, what I'm saying. Is there, with any transfer, I mean, it's, maybe both sides are taking a chance. You know, the coaches that this guy's going to fit, the player that, like, this next place is going to be the right place. Just what was that whole process like for you? And just did it? play out how you thought it might? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's worked out pretty much as well as I could have hoped for. Like, I've grown a lot here as a player. Um, I was uh, a top recruit, so, like, pretty much every school would have taken me, so I wasn't too worried about that. But, like, um, definitely at the beginning of the year when I was playing bad, like, that was weighing on me heavy, just, like, feeling like a disappointment and stuff. But it all just came down to my health, and I've uh, fixed that a lot. So, um, yeah, it's been great since I got here. To have TJ, I mean, how, how have you two kind of grown together and stepped into the leadership role of this team? Yeah, TJ is awesome. Uh, he's been a leader from day one. Uh, he just kind of took over when he got here. And we always knew we could rely on him to have big games. Um, but our relationship is great. Like, we're super cool off the court. And um, it's just great, like, in the Northwestern game, knowing that, like, you know, he's there and he can just turn it on whenever. So I don't know that we've seen you two both go maybe at max together at the same time. Is that fair, do you think? And what could that look like if that clicks together? Uh, probably the second half at Northwestern. Yeah. I mean, I think we combined for 40 in that half. Uh, so I think, you know, if we can get – Firing on all cylinders, that's what it can look like. That process like for you and TJ come in and kind of have the leaders with the new team so quickly? Mm -hmm. um, 
I've kind of said that I think leadership is a little bit overrated in basketball. Um, it's just every individual player doing their job. Um, and I think the main leadership role is really just talking to guys who are, are struggling uh, mentally, like with confidence and stuff, because I also think confidence is a little bit overrated because you just have to know what you do and uh, believe in the numbers and stuff and, and just go fire away and live with the results. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we're both talented players and we just came here to play basketball. That's it. It seems like you kind of talk about believing in the numbers. Like, where did that come from? Where did you kind of start thinking like that? Um, I started thinking like that after last year when um, my I was just noticing that my offensive numbers were really bad, and I was like, but like I feel like I'm doing the same thing. Like, how can I make this better? And I really took a dive into the numbers, and um, my numbers are actually far better than they were last year, um, efficiency-wise, not just point totals. And uh, that was just from really figuring out what I thought would work the best and just sticking to that. Um, it's just everybody wants to be better at basketball, and a lot of people put in long hours in the gym, and that shows how bad they want it. But like, it's pretty great when you can just like ch make some little tweaks. And so, yeah. Coming off of Sunday, how do you feel like you guys have responded, and what's been the internal conversation going on? Um, I've actually been sick the last few days. I had caffeine poisoning. I literally had uh, six monsters the day of the game. I only had one before, but I had five after because I like a caffeine-induced euphoria to play video games in. Um, and <laughs> so I, uh, I could barely get out of bed the next day. It was like basically like a caffeine hangover. And uh, so this is my first day of practicing since then. <clears throat> to have Jaden in, in the hospital overnight, how are you guys handling that as a team? Yeah, I wasn't there at practice, so I didn't see the whole event. But um, I just saw him walk in, in the, at the apartment. So. Um, I think it's affecting everybody. Everybody's just kind of like waiting to see what happens. Like everybody, like he's he's obviously okay, so everybody's okay with that. But uh, like we, we don't know what's gonna happen to him the rest of the season, or if he's like you know gonna have to quit basketball. Like we have no idea what's going on. So uh, I'll just leave that to Coach Underwood to explain to y'all. I guess one thing: when did you start really getting into true shooting numbers? True shooting. Um, what do you like about maybe that? Language? I like true shooting because it's just like it's the definition of what efficiency is. It's just true shooting and turnovers. Um, and last year I was like, I was like, my true shooting is fifty percent. Why are these guys even considering me for the NBA? And then I learned that um, my turnover percentage was elite, um, and then my defense was really good. But I was like, all right, is it possible for me to have both? Um, and just figuring out like. Basically, I'm just trying to get to the free throw line as much as possible when I go inside the paint. And then when I shoot threes, just shoot them. Just jack as many threes as I want. They can be sidestep off the dribble because offensive rebounds are a chance. And it's impossible to turn the ball over when you shoot it. So it's funny, but that's really what my mindset has been. And uh, it's worked out. Now, what's